Welcome to today's news talk at the International News Channel. I'm Hazar Alsaba. In an attempt to address Islamophobia and anti-Semitism in Canada, the Canadian government hosted two consecutive summits on July 22nd and 21st, respectively. However, one voice that was not heard during these summits are the voices of Hindu Canadians, some of whom have been signaling the rise of Hindu phobia in the nation. Joining us today to discuss the absence of a Hindu phobia national summit is Gaurav Sharma, the editor in chief of Hindu Times Canada. Thank you for joining us today, Gaurav. Thank you. What do you want Canadians to know about Hindu phobia, especially within the Canadian context? Okay, uh, the first thing I would like to begin by saying is that Hindu phobia is for real. Uh, it's a harsh and bitter reality for many Hindu Canadians uh, at the moment. Um, we are being targeted for uh, who we are, uh, for our identity, and uh, we face discrimination at many levels. Uh, that is what that is the first thing I would like all Canadians to know. The other thing which I would like to add here is, you would be shocked to know that even uh, the Oxford Dictionary now has a term called Hindu phobia in its lexicon. And uh, globally, the trend of uh, Hindu hatred and Hindu phobia has been on the rise. I would like to uh, start with uh, by giving a couple of examples here. So recently, uh, NASA hired two Hindu interns and they posted their pictures with uh, with their gods in the background and uh, uh, things like that and they were uh, ridiculed and they were they had to face uh, vile comments on social media platforms even NASA was not spared uh, for for having Hindu interns like that now, the other example which I want to tell you is about uh, the Oxford Students' Union President, Rashmi Samant. She's just 22 years uh, old girl and uh, she became the first Indian um, Students' Union uh, President. And she was, uh, she was harassed so much online that she had to resign within two days. So first, you know, this is this is the premise which I want to start with that globally we are seeing such a huge uh, increase in Hindu phobic uh, incidents. Mm -hmm. And you did mention that Hindu phobia is on the rise. But in your opinion, has Hindu phobia been spreading across Canada? Absolutely, yes. Uh, in Canada, the hate crimes against and the hateful comments which we see online against Hindus has been on the rise. Uh, you look at social media platforms like Facebook, um, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, you would find all sort of nonsense against uh, written against uh, Hindus. Our, our gods are ridiculed. Uh, you know, um, uh, we, we've, we, our traditions are being uh, laughed at uh, without even understanding what is the background, what is the culture we come from. And uh, we are we are called uh, cow ding, uh, cow piss drinkers, dung eaters, and whatnot. So uh, this kind of hatred against Hindus has been on the rise on social media platforms in Canada as well. Now I want to quote one example which uh, which hurt me very much uh, in the recent past. Uh, during COVID nineteen, uh, I think it was uh, April this year when. Uh, Baps Swami Narayan Temple had the opportunity to uh, to conduct its first mobile clinic uh, in Toronto, and once that news was uh, was out, the local councillor tweeted that this might not be the this might be a restraint for uh, mm -hmm. for other communities. Uh, I mean, being the being uh, the the mobile cleaning being set up in 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 a temple in a hindu temple might become a restriction for others not to go there so not that not only does does this divides the community it also brings disgrace to the office of a of an official uh, you know public representative and it, it it is very hurtful for hindus to to even listen to all that mm -hmm. 
So definitely, uh, Hindu phobia is is on the rise in Canada. And what are your thoughts on the National Summit on Islamophobia and the National Summit on Anti-Semitism? I think it's a good step for uh, for the government to talk about such uh, hate crimes, irrespective of uh, what religion you come from. But I think it is also important for the Canadian government to uh, look at the other communities as well. Uh, right now, the Hindu phobia, the Hindu hatred has been on is is increasing in Canada. So I think it is time. Uh, it is time for the Canadian government at at all levels, maybe, to conduct a national summit on Hindu phobia as well. Mm -hmm. And why do you think that a national summit on Hindu phobia is not being held? I think. Uh, there are two primary reasons for, for that. One is the lack of education within the Canadian community about the Hindu phobia. Uh, I think we need to we need to make sure that lot is uh, taught at school levels also to uh, to uh, to make sure that the kids are are known about the common misconceptions and myth myths about Hinduism. And the second reason I think is because the political class has not yet taken a note of that, uh, of, of this rising problem. And uh, I think that, that, that is the reason we are not seeing any response uh, from the governments at the moment. And as a society, we need to fight this menace uh, together. And why is it important to have a national summit on Hindu phobia? Uh, I think uh, it is important, it's very important actually, to have the Hindu phobia summit uh, at a national level at the moment, uh, it would. It is a shame when I say it's. It's. It is actually a shame that uh, no mainstream media outlet in Canada covers any Hindu causes or any Hindu phobic incident. So I think when a national summit on Hindu phobia is being held at a national level, uh, it would bring a lot of attention and uh, uh, from the media as well as from the political class and uh, you know it it would bring this topic right in front of everybody that how this uh, how this problem has been Im impacting over 700000 uh, hindu canadians within this country mm -hmm. and you mentioned the lack of coverage on hindu phobia in canada but has the canadian government done anything to combat hindu phobia no, absolutely not. Right now, I think the political leaders, they have not taken a note of uh, this rising uh, problem within Canada. So I think it is, but but like I said, it is time we, we, we need to speak more about it. Mm -hmm. And besides a national summit, what should the Canadian government be doing to combat Hindu phobia? Uh, I think the, it is, it is, like I said, it is time to bring out the causes and uh, it is also it should be fought at two different levels one uh, it is important that we educate uh, our fellow canadians about the common misconceptions and uh, myths about hindu hindu uh, hinduism the the second thing is government need to uh, allocate more energy and resources in in helping to combat hindu phobia within canada how can Canadians, Hindu and otherwise, fight against Hindu phobia? Uh, I would appeal all the Canadians to learn more about Hindu phobia. I think right now, internet is full of uh, such stories where Hindus are being targeted for who they are. Uh, for my fellow uh, Hindu brothers and sisters, I would request them to say, stay strong. I would ask them to report any Hindu phobic uh, incident which they which they face uh, within Canada if they come up uh, if they if they are being uh, if they are being targeted for for uh, their identity I think they should report that uh, on the social media they should report it to the law enforcement agencies they would they should talk about it uh, within the community and more awareness needs to be created again you know uh, uh, for this topic it's very very important to stay strong and it is it is very important to stay up to the haters are you hopeful that hindu phobia will be better recognized by the canadian government and public in the future 
frankly speaking i i would hope that the canadian uh, government uh, at at all levels provincial federal and local levels they take a stock of the situation and uh, help the community in combating hindu phobia and uh, as for the national summit uh, is concerned i i would also i'm also hopeful that uh, in the coming uh, few months we should see a positive response from uh, from the government thank you again for joining us today gorav thank you for having me and thank you to our viewers for joining us you're watching the international news channel i'm hazar alsaba don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the bell notifications to stay up to date on our latest videos.